Now then YouTube, I'm the Top Man and welcome back to episode 2 of Intangible. Let's play Intangible. Well, guys, I said that I was going to create a house in between episodes, of which I have gone and done, and I've moved all of the stuff inside, apart from the chicken. The chicken's staying out here, guys. I'm sorry, Jeff, but uh, Jeff the chicken. Where is the other chicken? There were two chickens in here. I swear to God, have you been eating the other chicken? Because that's just cannibalism. And it's unacceptable behavior, and I will have to kill you for this. No, not just yet. We do have eggs, though. And look at this, guys. Woohoo! This is actually done. The crystals. So the good way of checking whether or not it's done is if you right-click it. And it goes ding a ling a ling a ding a ling a ling a ding a ling a ling a ling a ling So let's go ahead and pick access up. We've got a blue crystal guys that's the house do you like it guys do you like it I think it looks pretty good I think it looks pretty good guys it's a nice looking house it doesn't look too bad yes I did have help with schematica I am not well I'm proud to admit that and I brought it inside here look at this guys so we need another bone thank you and we need a oh, bucket water is already there we need some lapis which is there and I am going to go ahead and uh, kill something with this. So we can get another soul bone. I want another soul bone. Not you, though. Um, I want another soul bone. Aha! You must die in the name of souls. Get here. No, look, stop bouncing around. Get to your backside. Get it here. Get it here, boy. 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 Why are you so difficult? Yes. Ooh. That was a very weird noise. But we've got another soul bone now, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is pop this into the uh, the thing. And hopefully, we can get some more uh, blue crystals with that one. I don't know how long this is going to take, because I have put, on the bottom of there, stone. So I'm just going to pop them into there, uh, and then let, let that do the business. But I want a circuit stamper. This thing, guys. That's what I want. Two redstone, an iron casing... And a piston. So what's the iron casing? Oh man, that's that's easy. That is, that is actually easy, guys. Iron casing. One, two, three, four, five. This is why I wanted this thing because it means that I can just get on with the mod itself. Iron casing, good stuff. Let's go ahead and teach that to the table. Not sure if we're going to need any anymore. Redstone and a piston. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god, yes, I can actually teach this a piston, and it is going to be ledge. Two, three, four of that. Redstone, I only need two, well, I need two of them. An iron, need one of them. Nice. Oops, it's the wrong way around. And that, my friends, is a piston. Ooh, something ding -a -linged. I believe it was this. Ah, no. So, uh, we've got a piston. We need two redstone, if I remember correctly. And we need the piston there. Two redstone either side. And then the item casing. And now we have the circuit stamper. Now I'm going to put the circuit stamper next to this thing right here. Ooh, it's kind of like clipping into the wall there. And I don't like the look of that. Um, I want to put it against a wall, though. I don't want to put it in the middle of the floor. No, but I don't want it to no clip through, like through the wall. It's just not right. Oh no, I'll put it here, cause why not? All right. So with this, we now create our next item. Now, if I can find it, I'll be able to tell you what it is. We need to create something that looks a little bit like. Where is it? There it is. The knowledge gem. We need two soul bones. One blue crystal and one redstone in this particular formation to get the knowledge gem. Let me get a couple of bones, guys, from here. Bone. A couple of bones, please. And I'm going to change these into soul bones by going out there and killing some stuff. Ooh, did I just ding a ling? Ha, oh, it did. Ledge. So, yes, I'm going to go and get some more soul bones, guys, and I will be right back. Okay, guys, I am back with two soul bones. One blue crystal and one redstone. Remember, we put this in this kind of order. The blue crystal there, soul bone there, 
and a silver bone there. This requires a redstone signal, so what we're going to go ahead and do is get a stick. And we are going to get a piece of cobble. Because I am yet to teach this table how on earth to make levers. That's right. So we're going to go ahead and put that in there. And now we know how to... Uh, now we know how to use a lever. Boosh! Oh, yeah. Look at this, guys. Knowledge gem. Now, we're going to go outside to use this because it's a ledge. And you need to see it in its full glory in my front garden. So let's go ahead and use this knowledge gem. Ta-da! Other mods use books. This one uses this. This is pretty awesome, guys. Got a whole lot of stuff going on here. Now, this is where the mod really, really starts. And this is where I know up to. And I don't know much more past this, apart from the, you know, getting uh, a soul cage, trapping things, taking their soul, right? And then using those souls for particular things. Other than that, I don't know much more about this mod myself. So I, we will be learning this as we go through. So, souls. There we go. Creatures appear to contain an essential energy or soul. Yes, they do. Detecting souls. Having discovered that souls inhabit the bodies of living creatures, it is time to quantify what they actually are. And indeed, there is just one... Uh, and indeed, if there is just one type or many. For this task, I will need to build some suitable equipment. I believe that this will require the subject to be held in place, surrounded by a cage made of soul bone. This will act as a conduit to siphon off a portion of the creature's soul, at least temporarily. To this cage, I will attach a device for funneling the captured essence. I am f pretty convinced this funnel will need to be powered by redstone to actually pull the soul. Finally, I will need to attach the f uh, to the funnel various pieces of apparatus in a chain. The order and type probably will lead to a discovery or two. For the record, I suspect that some combination of four decanters, splitters, gods and or spirals will be necessary. Perhaps more than one of each. Resetting the redstone signal to the funnel will probably be necessary to restart the experiment in between attempts. So that is de um, detecting souls. Materials. Crystal. We already know about the crystal that we've got there. Ah. I suspect that both forms the crystal blue and yellow. Wait, hold up. Crystalline. The resulting crystalline structure appears... Uh, amazingly appears to grow rapidly when exposed to air. I've noticed that placing shards of the crystal into stone has the best growth rate, sometimes even forming an off-coloured but especially pure column. I suspect that both forms of this crystal, blue and yellow, will have a melting point lower than that of lava. I may be able to melt the crystal by dropping it into still or flowing lava and then form it in a mould. What is a mould? It's one of these things. A blow mold. That's the next thing that we actually need to get, guys. So we need uh, a dropper and some stone. Forcing air with a bellows into a filled mold place. Right, okay. So let's go ahead and make a blow mold. Oops. Let's go ahead and make a blow mold. We can shut that down. There we go. That is cool, isn't it? I love that book. That is absolutely fantastic. So we need a blow mold. How does one craft... Well, we need a, a dropper first, which I believe... Yes, it's cobble and a redstone. So we've got you. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. And we put it in this kind of formation. We get the dropper, teach the dropper to this, because why not? And then we needed stone all the way around it. Well, five stone, I believe it was. Like, oh, probably six stone then. Is that right? So it's like that. There we go. We've got our blow mold. Now this blow mold, I'm going to go ahead... Ooh, now then. I'm going to go ahead and put the blow mold... I don't know where I'm going to put the blow mold, guys. What does it look like? Okay. Well, we can move it from there. That's for sure. Maybe we can put that in the corner over here. There we go. That's not too bad. We need bellows as well for this, it says. To be able to use it. So we need two leather. Ooh, you know. Guys. Have I got four rabbit hide? I haven't. I've only got three. Ah, that's so annoying. Okay, let me go and get a sword. There we go. Rabbits! Cooey! 
I'm coming for you. I need your hide. Just don't run away from me. <laughs> right, let's... You? Do you have one for me? No, you've got some meat for me, though. Um, come on. One of you's got to have hide on you, please. Just one. Because I really don't want to have to try and find a frigging cow. So, if you don't mind, could you quite kindly, you know, get skinned for me, please? There we go. Now we've got enough. Hmm. Just grab that bit of EMC on the way home. I have got waypoint there, guys. I've got the killing floor, which I'm going to put a waypoint onto there. I've just basically it's a two by two hole that I uh, lure things into and then kill them with my bones and 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 get them from there. So yeah, uh, there is the killing floor as well. So there's my leather. This is pretty cool, guys. There we go. And iron casing, three wood planks. Well, there's the iron casing wood planks eventually what we'll have to do guys is have some sort of emc farm going on don't worry guys it will happen i just want to be able to start this mod off is that not how you do it oh there we go bellows brilliant well we can't do anything with the bellows just yet that goes on to there uh we need to create um molds basically so let's pop this out there we go um Let's go back up. Here we go. Devices. Is that where we are now? Materials. That's the crystal. So it was on about yellow crystal, wasn't it? it, it we might be able to get some yellow crystal. Um, and then chuck it into lava, which apparently gives us something. So that's good. Devices. Wait, hang on a minute. What was it? Snowbound crystal. When I left in water, the result in crystalline blah, blah, blah. Um, stone. Right, especially pure column. I suspect that both forms of this crystal, blue and yellow, will have a melting point lower than that of lava. I may be able to melt the crystal by dropping it into still or flowing lava and then form it in a crystal. What? What? And then form it in a crystal. What? I don't get it. Um, anyways. Devices. So we've done that. We have done that. We've done that. We've done... We haven't got a blow... Well, yeah, we have. <laughs> we haven't got any glassware yet and we haven't got a bone cage the bone cage is eight soul bones a cage of the uh, of soul bone is a perfect way to track creatures for my experiments i just need to stand them in front of the cage before i snap it closed with either a hand by a, or a red or with a redstone switch uh, i'm going to be using a um a pressure plate i suspect the more mighty creatures will not remain trapped however oh dear that doesn't sound good and then the glassware various uh, utensils formed from molten blue crystal in a blow mold combined together to aid my research of souls funnel and this is different types of molds guys we're going to need all, all of these funnel decanter guard spiral and a splitter it's five different things that we can uh, that we can uh, actually make gonna need some of that but we need a lot of blue crystal to be able to do this um so what we're going to do uh we need to wait for the blue crystal which is currently growing away over there. It's not ready yet. It's going to take some time. I think what would what would be a good idea is to have multiple uh, places for this to to grow, so that we can get a, like a little bit of a farm going on. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do just that. Maybe turn that entire corner into a into a uh, into a crystal area. Maybe this entire corner over here. It won't be a bad idea. That let me go and do that. I wonder if you can actually do that next to each other and it wouldn't actually make it dodgy. Or whether we're going to need some uh, some actual holes. So let me get rid of these. Oh well. There's a the water I prepared earlier. Not. Um, stone. Two, three of that stone. Pop that into there then. Now, I'm one... I've just made this place look decent, so I'm going to keep it looking decent. <laughs> and I am going to replace that with uh, wood. Spruce wood planks. Two, three, four. Should be enough. Boop, 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 boop. Good stuff. So, now the moment of truth, I suppose, when it comes to this. Let me see... 
if said water destroys this crystal. It doesn't. Good. Right, let's pop that back into there. I'm going to need three more. No, it was actually two more, but never mind. I can always put it back. There we go. Good stuff. Three of them. And then we need another three soul bones. So I'm going to go over to the killing floor and I'm going to get myself some more soul bone. Ah, wish me luck, guys. Wish me luck. I've gone on the search because I actually want some carrots. Uh, the killing floor. I've got an idea for the killing floor, actually. I'll show you soon. I want to be able to, um, to do it up a little bit for... Look at all these sheep. Holy jeebus. Right, I, I want... Carrots. I want to be able to... I've got some sheep, okay? And I'll be able to farm the sheep, and I'll be able to breed the sheep. No, absolutely no problem. I want carrots. Please tell me... Oh, they're, they're potatoes. No. Tell me there's some carrots up on the top of this hill right here. Villagers, you, you're bloody useless. I swear to God. These are all tits. These are all tits. No, carr no carrots anywhere. What am I meant to do? Like... I need carrots for the pigs. I don't need tits. I need carrots. You got some carrots over here? Nope. Oh! Oh! Yes! Woohoo! Carrots! I only needed the one. I only needed the one. And I might as well get enough uh, for some wheat as well while I'm here. There we go. Good stuff. I do want to set up some farms just so, so I can use them for like basic EMC and stuff like that. So I, I have absolutely no... Whoa, hang on a minute. No, 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 no. Because I want to go ahead and create a waypoint where this village is. Just in case I need it at some stage. Uh, where am I? I went down here, didn't I? There we go. So let me do this. Village. There we go. And we'll save that. Good. And then we will teleport home. Woo! Good stuff. So let's go ahead and teach these to the table. Bang, in there. There's the wheat. There's the carrots. There's the seeds. There's the dirt. So let's go and get some carrot. And um, I only need the one. I only need the one. And I'll show you the killing floor. And I'll show you what my idea is going to be. I'm probably going to add, if it's done for 1.8.9, the, the chisel mod. Not the chisel and bits. Not the chisels and bits. But the actual chisels mod. Just to give myself a little bit more, uh, you know, building blocks to be able to build with. Um... Let's go to the killing floor. Now, I could run, but saves. So, here we are at the killing floor. We have our first farm. It's got some uh, sheep in there. We have our second farm. It's got a pig in there. Um, it's actually not big enough. I just realised that I've not made this big enough. It's got this uh, trapdoor, because, of course, the things are stupid. And they have no idea what a trapdoor is. But I need two, of course, to be able to... There we go. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Good boy. Let's get you in this uh, this ear hole. Can you come down here? Oh, there we go. Look at that. It actually just willingly went into the killing floor. You do not know what's going to happen to you. Believe me. I'm going to have some chickens as well over here. Um, I don't know if I need different animals or not. I'm, not quite, I'm really not sure. Uh, so we'll have to find out. But I'm going to go and get them anyway. And of course, I'm going to breed them as much as I can. And then, guys, I'm going to have enough to do uh, a massive killing floor. And we will be ledged. But for the moment, I can go ahead and smack the hell out of this sheep. With a bone. And, uh, and get a soul from it. There we go. I can also do it for you. There we go. And there is another one kicking around somewhere, I saw. Chicken, I'm not going to get you because I actually want you. So, mind you, I've got loads of eggs. So I don't really need to. Chicken! Cooey! Plus, I've learned, I've taught them to my transmutation table, so. Yeah, that's it. Die. Oh, yeah. Three soul things, guys. Three soul things. Soul bones. That's the word I was looking for. Let's go indoors. And let's sleep. Whoops. That's my torch right there. Let's go indoors, let's go upstairs, and th then let's go to sleep. Uh, and then we will go ahead and make some more of those crystals, or at least set them going off before the end of this episode, which is coming up very shortly. Ooh. Nice. Okay, um, I'm not sure if these are going to end up merging, and I really hope that they don't. So we've got that there, look. Right. 
What I mean by merging is if I put them like this. Is that going to be enough to do that? Oh man, that is actually going to be ledge. So they're going to go ahead and create... Is that ready? Oh, it's ready, guys. It's ready. I'll do that next episode, though, and we'll get some more blue crystal for next episode so we can start doing some of this mold and get, um, you know, the killing floor up and running. So, if you've enjoyed this episode, please go ahead and leave a like, guys, and I will see you for episode three of Intangible. Hopefully you are enjoying it. If you are, please go ahead and leave a like, and I will see you next episode. Until then, I've been the Top Man. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, stay safe.